Hi guys! Welcome to Champ's Christmas Kitchen! Today, we're going to be making a recipe that you guys can make this Christmas Wagyu Steak Dombri. So, let's get cooking! Okay guys, even though for my version of this rice ball, I'll be using Japanese Wagyu steak, you can actually do this recipe with any cut of beef you can find. So don't worry if you can't find Wagyu beef. But whatever cut of beef you use, make sure to leave it at room temperature for at least 30 minutes before you start. So before we prepare the beef, you can have a rice ball with our rice, right guys? I've already shown you how to boil rice in some of my previous videos. So make sure to check them out if you're not using a rice cooker in the description box below. This time though, I have another rice tip. Try adding some dried kelp or kombu to your rice before boiling. This will add an extra little bit of richer flavor which is called umami in Japanese. I'm also going to show you how to turn this rice into sumeshi or vinegared sushi rice later on. While we wait for our rice to boil, let's make a marinade for our steak. First, add 2 tablespoons of mirin and 2 tablespoons of Japanese cooking sake to a saucepan. Then turn that to a low heat. We want to burn off the alcohol a little bit to really concentrate these flavors. You can either leave it on a low heat for a few minutes or if you're using a gas burner, oh, oh, sake roasting on an open fire. <clears throat> but also be careful. Now we're done with that, and hopefully you still have your eyebrows. We'll turn off the heat and let's add two tablespoons of soy sauce and two teaspoons of brown sugar to our pan and give that a mix. Once those flavors are mixed together. We will set aside a bowl of cold water and place our saucepan directly into it so our marinade can cool quickly. Next is the star of our show, the Wagyu steak. Like I said, this method of cooking will work with almost any cut of beef you can find. First, we want to salt both sides of our meat before we cook the outer part of the steak in the frying pan. We just want to give our steak a little bit of color here, not cook it through. So maybe this will only take about 30 seconds on each side. Once you've got a nice color on each side as well as the edges of the steak, Let's take this out of the pan. We're actually gonna use a low temperature cooker here to cook this steak to perfection. But before we do, we wanna add an extra flavor to our marinade. Take one clove of garlic, peel off the skin, and then grate finely. Now we're going to add our sauce from before into a ziplock bag with the garlic and then finally add our steak. Make sure to try and get all the air out of the bag when you close it up. An easy way to do this is to leave a small hole in the top of the bag and then submerge it in water, push out all the air and then close. you will get this nice little vacuum sealed steak. Now that's done, we're going to set our low temperature cooker to 60 degrees Celsius or 140 Fahrenheit. And put in our Ziploc bag, clip it to the side and let that sit for 20 minutes. This will make our steak super juicy and tender without overcooking it. You can also do this with a normal gas stove and saucepan, but you will need to use something like a cooking thermometer to make sure you won't overcook the steak or melt the bag. 
Now, while we're waiting for that to finish, let's prepare our rice and vegetables for our dish. First is the rice, which we've now finished cooking. But we want to give this rice a bit more flavor and turn it into sumeshi or vinegared sushi rice. To do this, we're going to mix together 60 milliliter of rice or grain vinegar, 2 teaspoons of sugar, and 1 teaspoon of salt. Mix until the sugar and salt are completely dissolved. You will notice it also starts to foam a little. Drain the foam through a fine sieve and... Your vinegar mixture is done guys! Now, we will add our cooked rice into a large bowl and break it apart a bit. And then pour over our vinegar mixture. Mix gently while turning the bowl so as not to crush the rice grains. Rather than mixing the rice, mix it like cutting the rice. Of course, no flavored rice is still delicious. But vinegared sushi rice will give a little bit more an accent to your dish. Once that's done, cool the rice down with a paper fan or a cutting board. Sorry, it's all I could find. And we'll set that aside. Next is our vegetables. I have a few sprigs of asparagus here, which I'm going to boil. The base of asparagus can be quite tough, so it's best to grate this away before we boil it. Now, cut these in half and add the root part into boiling water with a tablespoon of salt and let cook for about 30 seconds. After that, put in all the rest and boil for another 1 minute. Once they're done cooking, drain them out using a colander or if you have a fancy Japanese strainer like me, you can show that off too. Next, let's add some onions to give our dish some crunch. Peel an onion and cut into rings, then break these rings apart. Put the onions in boiling water. Wait until the water goes back to a boil and wait for 30 seconds, then drain them off. Sprinkle a pinch of salt and then cut them up into bite-sized chunks. It's important to get some different textures in our dish since the beef is going to turn out really tender. And finally, we want to add a little bit of sweetness to our sauce that we will reuse from our marinated steak. I'm gonna grate some apple, about maybe 1 8 and set that aside. Oh, looks like our steak has done cooking guys. Let's take this out of the bag and remember to keep the sauce. We're going to put that into a saucepan with our grated apple. Let that boil over a low heat until we start to see it thicken up. Once that's nice and thick, we will set that aside. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for... The Wagyu Beef! Oh, that looks beautiful! Nice and pink in the middle and oh so tender! Cut your meat into very thin slices diagonally for this. And make sure to add them on top of your vegetables so they can soak up some of that meaty flavor. If you can eat raw eggs in your country, put the egg yolk on it, add our sauce from before, and... So, Champ's Christmas Kitchen Special is done! Mmm, look at the Wagyu Steak Rice Ball! Let's give it a try! Itadakimasu! Look at this color of the meat! So tender. 
the facts melt in your mouth. We cooked at a low temperature so the meat isn't tough and not chewy at all. So let's try with the egg. Mm, look at this. Amazing. The meat on its own is delicious. But if you add egg, you get an extra punch. Wagyu no one no cutter. ニンニクベースのソースがまたバッチリの調和が取れていてとっても美味しいですこの柔らかい今度こうします包んじゃうロールねいただきますうんうんうんうん和牛卵玉ねぎニンニクだれこの4種類の味がぴったりと合わさっててとっても上品かつリッチに出来上がりました Today we cook with Wagyu because the special Christmas version but you can use any beef it's still delicious why don't you try at your home okay guys thank you for spending Christmas with me And I'll see you next year. And remember, after we eat the meal, we all say, Good Sosa, the shop! <laughs>